Well, there's a debate going on in schools across Oklahoma and the country. Cell phones in the classroom. Many teachers say they're a distraction. Yeah, just last week we first told you how Sand Springs schools put a ban on cell phones at Clyde Boyd Middle School and Sixth Grade Center right before the start of the new school year. Tomorrow, every student's going to have an assigned locker with they put their cell phone in there. That'll be happening during the school day. But some parents across the country are worried in the wake of mass shootings about how they'll hear from their child if there's an emergency. So all new here at 630, we're exploring whether teachers taking away cell phones goes too far. These days, it's rare to see a kid without a phone in their hand. See them hiding behind under the desk, texting. And some teachers say enough is enough. Time to put the screen away. I took them at the door. Like many teachers, Johnny Hawkins is annoyed by how much students use their phones in school. So she asked her students to put them near her desk till the end of class. And some teachers are even locking them in a box. You know what? The lock box is a good, good idea because you don't risk it being taken. But some parents have a problem with this, saying it's risky in case kids need to get in contact with someone during an emergency at school. Tia is a mom to several young children. She says texts save parents from thinking the worst. Relieving, scary, but you still appreciate knowing there's, there's, as long as they're texting you, they're alive. But Johnny says in emergencies, all eyes should be on their surroundings, not their phones. And if you're trying to call your parent, then you're making noise and you're going to bring that attention if the gunman is by your classroom. But as a parent, it's hard for Tia to think about not hearing from her kids in those situations. It's a scary way to think that what if there's an emergency, but that's just the way we have to think now. So there's no clear right or wrong answer in this debate, and that's exactly what we found in the student handbooks in the largest school district in Green Country. Tulsa Public Schools policy says elementary, middle, and junior high school students are not allowed to use wireless devices at any time during the school day, but they are allowed to be carried in a student's backpack, purse, or pocket as long as it's turned off. TPS high school students can carry cell phones around, but they're only allowed during the lunch hour and between periods. It cannot be used in the classroom. Breaking the rules will get the phone confiscated. You'll find the policies for Broken Arrow, Jenks, Sand Springs, and Union inside this story on the Two Works For You app. Travis. Yeah, we've been getting your reaction on the topic on our Two Works For You Facebook page. We asked, should students be allowed to have cell phones in the classroom? 38% said yes, but 62% said no. Carolyn commented, the teachers could have their cell phones and the numbers given to the parents. If there's an emergency, the parents can contact the teachers. It's ridiculous to let the students have their cell phones in the classroom. Lisa, though, she had a different take. She commented when things happen at school, the school chooses what to tell us parents. My daughter needs to be able to contact me at all times. And Tina wrote, kids are at school to learn, not Google answers and text friends. If they allow them in the classrooms, keep them put up so it's not a distraction. Julie wrote, with all the shootings and things in schools now, kids need to have a connection to home. And we'll keep this poll question up and keep that conversation going over on our Facebook page so you can sound off there on this really hot button issue. Definitely very valid points on both sides and really up to the schools to decide what would be best for, for their specific classrooms. And it is really a valid debate. You yeah. know, it could be this way or that way. Yeah. So uh, go, like he said, go to our Facebook page. We want to hear your comments and maybe we'll share them. Yeah, for sure.